Oh. If the NDC to plan, think, and invest now in the history of Ghanaian politics, in the history of prophetism in Ghana, I don't think that God has given precedent to any prophets. I saw the NDC win the next general election with 52.1%. The general elections is fast approaching and already several persons who claim to be prophets are at it again giving various prophecies of who will win the presidential election. Election prophecies have over the years raised and created controversies looking at the projections with which they give with regards to margins, percentages and who would even take the lead in the upcoming election. We want to find out what prophecies really are and what they are meant to do to society. Are they meant to mar society or make it better in the run-up to the elections? Let's get some answers. In the New Testament, prophecy is about the church. And God gave some pastors, prophets, evangelists to prepare the saints for the work of the ministry. So in the New Testament, it is not so much like the Old Testament, but about what happens to the church. Prophetism has been described as a religious phenomenon. Election prophecies in the past and present attempts to give an advanced declaration who will win an election. Here in Ghana, these prophecies go beyond predicting Ghana's presidential candidate fortunes. 2020! No change. Trump will sit on America's seat again. Following the defeat of Donald Trump, prophecies have taken a different turn. I saw Biden holding the votes. We will say Biden is like that when Trump used his palm to hit the back of his palm, took it from his hand and left. The movie has not ended. President of the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council, Reverend Dr. Paul from Paul Manson, describes these recent prophecies as fake. They are creating confusions. All the prophets are prophesying about two parties. So one will win. So don't let allow the prophets to tell us MPP or this will win. The danger rather is, should MPP lose, then they will say that prophet A, B, and C say that I will win. So the election was rigged. Prophecies are not only limited to Ghana. America and Europe have their fair share of religious predictions. I was praying on Sunday saying, God, please tell me how it's going to happen. And I hope I've got the word. But first of all, I want to say without question, Trump is going to win the election. It is interesting to note a history professor, Alan Lichman, has predicted U.S. elections since 1984 using his 13 key system. The 13 keys also considers factors such as the economy, incumbency, social unrest and scandals, as well as the candidate's personal charisma. From four keys down and a win to seven keys down and now a predicted loss for Donald Trump in November. For psychologist Dr. Charles Riafiakentin, predictions should be more scientific in nature than prophetic. In science, we want verifiability for them. Whether it comes true or not, there is always an explanation. If it comes to pass, super. If it doesn't, they will tell you that the person should have done A, B, C, D. But the question you ask is that why is it that at the time they were making that prophecy, they didn't add those caveats? Studies about religion show that prophecies have an impact on the lives of individuals who are religious. However, research is yet to establish how these prophecies influence a voter. Ghana is a country where most people profess to be religious. And if you look at our population since 2010, about 70% indicated that they are Christians, and about 15 about a Muslim, and the rest. So what it means is that if you play the religious card, at least a session of the public will buy into it, and that can also influence them. But the specific about prophecy, I'm here to read any study on that. The Christian Council says it is limited in calling such men of God to order. We are a loose association of uh, religious uh, organizations, of churches. But many of the ones who do these prophecies do not even belong to the Christian Council of Ghana. So that's one limitation that we have. Uh, we have looked at regulation. We don't think that regulation is the way to go. But we think that here 
advice you know, to each other. We are also thinking of the ecumenical bodies also collaborating, having joint meetings to make statements about some of the things that are happening. Studies conducted show that because of strife and tension during election years in Ghana, prophets should exercise restraint regarding who wins what. If a prophet will speak, he will speak for God, not for the interest of any human being or any political party. Because of selfish gain and selfish interest, we have digressed from our cause. Nana Ikria Mensa Brampa, TV3.